Hello everyone. Today we are going to say goodbye to our beloved pet cockroach Papyrus. He's perfectly healthy, but we decided to donate him to a place called the Nature Discovery Center because he needs more friends. You want to see how big he got? He's our Madagascar hissing cockroach and he's really big. It's hard. It's kind of making a reflection, but look at that thing. Look at that. Can you believe how big he is? kind of far. Yeah, look. He's my so hand. big. He's my face next to him. Um, the reason we're going to take him there is because we actually had another cockroach. You may have seen our videos when she turned white. Her name was Sans. They're named after Undertale. But um, she actually escaped one day when we went to my mom's house and she escaped somewhere at the lake house and we never found her. And so we think that Papyrus deserves to have some friends. And so we decided to take him over where he's going to have some other cockroach friends so that he'll be happy, right? Is, is that a good idea? Y'all think that's a good idea? Yep. But today also I wanted to talk about cockroaches. And you know, we live in Texas and there's a lot of um, American cockroaches here who, who are very big. And I'm going to show you some pictures of those. Um, the thing about cockroaches is you really got to respect them as a species because they are survivors. And they may be disgusting, they may be annoying, but they are survivors and they are pretty smart. And I even read on the internet that they're the smartest dogs. Who thinks they're the smartest dogs? I do. You do? What about you, Rowan? I mean, I've seen them in our house, like they know where to go, like they know where the bathroom is because they like to be next to water and uh, you can find them like next to pipes in your house and stuff like that. Uh, so, you know, they, they seem to know where they're going. Here, don't shake the camera, Ivan, Schmivan. He has this Naruto headband on, so does Rowan. So I was going to tell you about a roach. Remember that roach that, that we had, like, maybe it was last summer or something that we could train it, sort of? Remember that roach? Well, there was a roach that I had, I had gotten my house exterminated. And actually, some roaches are so smart that they can smell where the poison is and they won't touch it because they know. They know that it's bad and so they won't touch it. And so, um, I don't know if that's what this roach did or what, or if he was just getting immune to it or something. So I was walking down the hallway and I saw him and he was just, I saw this roach there and I used to always see him in the hallway because the bathroom was right there, you know? And so he, well, he got big. Yeah, he did get bigger. And so he just was never afraid of me. It's like he, he recognized me and he knew that I wouldn't get a step on him because even though I'll like exterminate in my house because I'm allergic to them, um, I actually will never just kill them. Like that's just horrible to me. Like why would you want to squish something and see its little guts come out and you know whatever. Here, don't take it. And so I decided that I wasn't gonna hurt him. So he knew that. And whenever he saw me, he was just like, oh, it's just her again. She's not gonna do nothing. She ain't gonna do nothing. He probably had bad grammar. I don't know. Maybe not because he's a road stop and he knows on camera. So anyway. Um, like a day or two later, Rowan spilled Cheerios all over the floor with milk. And I said, Rowan, clean that up. So what he did was he cleaned it up and he, um, and he, uh, he put it in the, in the dirty laundry. Okay. So I didn't get a video of this, but here is a picture of him on that towel. Now, as soon as we gave him that towel, I think that he probably thought that, we were giving him a blankie to sleep on with Cheerios all over it. So he was pretty happy. He probably felt pretty welcomed by then. And so I had taken a picture of him before in the hallway. And if you notice in these pictures, the reason I knew it was the same roach is because one of his antenna is longer than the other. And so um, it was the same roach. He thought that he was a pet because we gave him a blankie and some food. Well, a few days after that, I saw that roach over kind of close to the ferret cage because, you know, roaches like to hang out over there because they might, you know, um, what's it called, you know, get a smidgen of ferret food or something. So I saw him and he knew me, he wasn't scared. And so I did like this. I said, here, roachy, 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 roachy. Here, roachy, roachy. And I kind of like, I went back and forth from like snapping my fingers to like patting on the 
on the ground. You know how like if you want a dog or a cat to uh, come to you, you go like this and they come? Well, that's what the roach did. And he's like, he's like somebody's pet by now. He thinks he's my pet by now. So I'm like, well, you know, I think this is the same roach. And you know, he had one antenna longer than the other. So I said, I'm just gonna give him some food. And, and I took a little piece of ferret food and I gave it to him. And so as you can see in this picture, he just took it and he kind of, he carried it away. He wasn't scared of me. I was just like, gave him a piece of food. You know, you, you think of cockroaches, you think they're going to run. But once they get to know you, they will not run. And so I thought, well, this roach, it's like, he's like immune to the poison or something, or he's smart enough not to get in it. I guess I'll just let him live in here. He'll just be like one of our roommates. And so a few days later, um, it was nighttime, and I thought, I'm going to tell Ivan about it, and we're going to see this roach come out, and maybe we'll give him another piece of food. So we were calling his name, here, roachy, 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 and we were like snapping our fingers, trying to get, get him to come out, and then I couldn't find him anywhere. I was like, where did he go? He's like our, our pet now. And so he didn't come out, and, and I went looking in other rooms for him, and then that's when I saw him on the ground laying feet up, dying. You remember that, Ivan? And so here's a, a picture of our poor little friend when he finally succumbed to the poison. I don't know what happened. He like walked in the poison or something and he, he thought it was safe and it wasn't safe. And I was actually kind of sad about it because I had made friends with this cockroach. He was smart. He was like a dog. He might even be smarter than our dogs because our dogs aren't that smart and this cockroach was probably smarter. So I just want everybody to know that cockroaches are, are smart creatures even though they don't look very good and a lot of people get asthma from them. You know, they're, they're really smart little things. And so Ivan's gonna smash his face together now. So we wish we could keep Papyrus but you know, he's escaped out of there a few times, and since our house is exterminated, it's just not safe for him to escape like that. So we're going to take him to the Nature Discovery Center. So here's one last shot of him. But I just want to say that the cockroaches, especially bees because they're slow, they actually, unless you're allergic to them, they make really good pets. Like, I can't play with them because I'm allergic. And if you're allergic to shrimp, then it's likely that you're also allergic to the cockroaches because they have the same protein in their exoskeleton. Did you know that, Ivan? Uh, no, but, but you're I not mean, allergic to shrimp. You I can eat shrimp. I knew that you're allergic to roaches because you're allergic to what it called. Shrimp. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, that's our uh, that's our little spiel about roaches. And so next time you see a roach, kind of think about that. that that they're like a successful species on earth and they need our respect even if we're going to kill them all right well that's all goodbye